So, EA dropped the 86 plus base or triple threat hero player pick. Let's open up a bunch of these and get some Janolas and Yaya Torres. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable ultimate team coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link in the description. Save 5% using code HABER. This is reasonable. It's an 85 rated squad with an inform. You get a 1 of 3 86 plus base or triple threat hero player pick. Two per account that repeatable. Let's see what we get. No triple threat hero. We do get such a key slow, which isn't horrendous. I mean, I don't think people are using them anymore. The start of the year, she was very good, though. But probably worth about 20, 30k now. Yes. I think most heroes, bar like Yaya Torre and Janola's base and that, and Dinatale and people like that, are probably going to be absolute peanuts. Second one now, though. Come on, give me a triple threat. I did get a triple threat. Dirt cow. This card doesn't look horrendous. The defending. If that defending was better, he'd make a great center mid. If Dirt Defending was like 80, we're looking at a really nice center mid. But I, do you know what? I'll actually take Dirk out. It's not... I mean, we got Schneider in there as well. It's not super insane. It's not worth loads. But I'll actually take that. He's Premier League as well. Might get some some use at some point. Um, so let's go ahead and take that. We also have uh, some new store packs in the store. I opened some earlier, which is going to be at the end of the video. And by the way, there's an insane pull. Over a million coins. Absolutely insane. So stick stick around to the end of the video for that. Uh, we have the Ultra Wildcard Pack. It is back. 4,000 FC points or 600k. Three Winter Wildcards rated 87 or higher and 11 88 pluses. Here we go. Who are we going to get, EA? We get ourselves an inform. Belgium centre mid Kevin De Bruyne. Who is going to be the inform behind him? It's 88 plus, by the way. So it could be very good. Milinkovic Savage. Okay, that's not great. But it's an inform. Good for SBCs. We'll take that. Who is in the rest of the pack EA? Here we go. Mukiele. Not a terrible card. Guys, that was Virgil, so we can't... Unless EA weren't lying when they said you could pack uh, two versions of the same player in the same pack. I don't think we're getting Virgil van Dijk. Mukiele, who can't play CB, unfortunately, but the card is okay. All right, here we go. Who is in the rest of this pack? Ooh. He's not worth that much. He's worth about 200k, but Leon Goretzka is a decent card. I mean, he's decent every year. He's got a really good build for center mid. That's not bad. I'll take that. We also get Ayazabal and Zakaria in the duplicates as well, but that's not bad. That could have gone a lot worse. I don't know how much Mukele is worth. He's worth about 100k. So that could have gone a lot worse. We didn't get any of the top, top, top tier ones, but... That's not terrible. All right. Next up, we've got La La Zero player picks. Here we go. First one. I mean, a Akotcha's okay. A Akotcha could have been a lot worse. Not super insane, but could have been a lot worse. I think he's probably still worth about... Yeah, he's still worth about 100k. Uh, that's not terrible. We'll take that. He's one of the only base ones that is actually probably somewhat still usable. All right. Next one. Come on. Yeah, yeah, Torre or Zanola. Abadi Pele's not bad. The annoying thing is you got two base ones, but like, in terms of all the base heroes, you actually got two of the better base heroes. Couple hundred K for Abadi Pele, a hundred and like 50K for Akotcha. You've actually done all right there, in my opinion. That is really not that bad at all. All right, next hero player pick. Come on, EA. Thought us out. Triple threat. Jisung Park and Fawler. He is, hey, he's, he's running a United past and present team. So, you know what? That could have gone a lot worse. Got some United Bastard present. You take it. All right. Next two player picks. Here we go. Wesley Schneider. It's annoying that it's not just all special versions of heroes in this. Because imagine getting the special Wesley Schneider. Woof. That'd be a nice card. His base card doesn't look bad. But I don't think it's, it. you know. I don't think it's going to be very, very useful at this stage of the game. All right. Next one. I mean, if you love United, you'd be very happy. You got Ollie and Park. He wants Jason Park. Fair enough. I respect that. Joe Cole's actually not a terrible icon as well. Um, eh. No. All right, next hero player pick. What we got? Not bad. I mean, Tevez, I think's decent, right? You take Tevez. The annoying thing is he's not the uh, UCL one. Because the UCL one obviously has five-star skills and I think a four-star weak foot. What's his normal one worth? Like 100k still? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, next up, we have two more, and then I think the pack as well. All right, first one. Could have been could have been better. That's a fodder pick right there, isn't it? I mean, don't get me wrong. Dimitar Berbatov is the king, but we want the, 
We want the 88. We want the fodder. Not ideal. All right, Ricardo Carvalho, welcome to the club. All right, here we go. Second one. Please, give us, another, give us another triple threat. We've only had one so far. I mean, another Tevez. Right, so for reference, the pick is about 74k. So Tevez being like 100-ish K is a W. You know, it's worth more than the actual pick itself. You're making a little bit of profit. It's not bad. Um, 83 times 10 now as well. Let's see what we get. No special card on the front. We want a winter wild card at the back. I'm skipping it. Come on. Never mind. All right, next hero pick. Come on, please be a triple threat. Give me Janola or EA Torre. Hurry up. Well, I said hurry up to EA. Oh, maybe a little bit mean. I probably should have said please instead. Uh, Francescoli, though. I mean, it's a new hero. Fun, I guess. All right, we've got Natasha's picks now. Come on. Let's get let's get some more good heroes, please. Uh, Kewel's not bad, actually. I think Kewel is somewhat usable. Yeah, fair enough. I'd probably have taken Viali for the fodder. Anyway, Kewel's all right if you need a left wing from the Prem. The issue is it's just so easy to get good cards nowadays. Dina Tarle's a W, though. We'll take a Dina Tarle. Nice. Not bad at all. Um, I was going to say, it's just a, it's really easy these days to get really good teams. So the likes of Harry Kuehl just aren't that appealing anymore because of how much better people's teams are. However, Dina Tarle is still very good. All right, two more picks. Paolo Futre. That's not bad. The annoying thing about Paolo Futre, right, is like back in the day, and I'm talking FIFA 17, FIFA 17, I think it was. When he got an icon card, he was four star skills, five star weak foot. However, nowadays, he's like three star weak foot, I think. Four star skills, three star weak foot. That one's not a great pick, though. I mean, four lands okay, um, but that pick's not great. All right, John's got the 86 plus at a base or trophy titans hero. What am I saying? Triple threat hero. I can't lie. The TT is bugging me, man, because last year it was trophy titans and now it's triple threat and it's just, I don't know. Ooh, I wonder who he chooses. I reckon he chooses John Arisa. I don't know why. Just a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> BA. Behave. Give us some Yaya Torres, man. Come on. Come on. All right. Here we go. 4,000 FC points pack. Bear in mind yesterday, he, he got a big pack pool, which you'll see later on in this video. Um, and I mean like a 4 million coin, 5 million coin pack pool. So... I don't know how this is going to go. This could go very well. Could go very badly. Maybe he used up all his pack luck. Maybe he's still got some left in the tank. We'll find out. It is a gold card in the front, which means the winter wild cards are at the back. Harry Kane. And I'm going to say Harry Kane and Courtois. That's my guess. That's my guess. Ah, it's Benzema. I was close. I don't, I don't know how that means I was close, but I was close. There we go. Oh, Neymar. Hey, Neymar's in there. Oh, boo. All right, next 86 plus. But I mean, I'm trying to think. There aren't many eight, eight, like, like 85 rated heroes anyway. So I know that EA think they're doing a solid by making 86 plus. There really isn't that many eight, 85 rated heroes anyway. Um, how much is Francesco Lee? Is he worth anything? 33k. I remember when he first came out and he was like 400k. Yikes. All right, on to my second account now. We have got two more hero picks. Ooh. Sydney Govu is not bad, actually. Uh, do I take Govu or do I take the... I'm going to take Govu. I'm going to take Sydney. He's probably not worth loads. But, like, you know, I'm going to take him anyway. I think he's, he's all right. If I ever do choose to play on this account, that is. I mean, I'm glad I did that because we got more enters anyway. Um, not amazing. I mean, Sydney's probably still what still a little bit usable off the bench, I guess. But we're going to open up the 4K FC points pick uh, pack now as well. And see what we get. We're going to open this up on my second account now. 4K FC points. Let's see what we get. Come on, EA. Let's get some good heroes. We get Erling Haaland. Is we get Hergerberg? I think Erling Haaland's an inform. Um, I think he's in like best of team of the week or something. We get Hergerberg into Stegen. Who are going to be the winter wild cards? We got in Oh, let's go, Casemiro, baby. Let's go. Grimaldo's all right as well, to be fair. He's not worth loads, but he's actually a decent card. Nice. And we got Yozabal in the duplicates as well. Get in there. Casemiro. Come on. Let's go. All right. Next hero pick. We might as well call it a base hero pick because we've had one triple threat hero this entire time. I don't know how many have opened so far. I, if I count it, two, four, five, seven, eight, probably like 15 to 20 hero picks or something like that. 
I don't know how many have opened so far. But we got one triple threat. One. And it was Gert Cow. All right. Now it's time for Don Springs um, Ultra Wild Card Pack. Let's see what we get. Ooh, we got an inform. So we've got Kevin De Bruyne and an 88 plus inform. It'll probably be the Millie Savage, but hopefully it's better. It is Millie Savage. Brilliant. All right. Well, you take an 88 inform. I actually am not complaining about that at all. Informs seem so hard to get these days. All right. Let's go. What's in the rest of this pack? We've got ourselves De Bruyne, Harry Kane, Rodri, Allison, Bruno Fernandes. Great fodder. Unfortunately, the uh, the Winter Wild Cards were not great. Barad I mean, Grimaldo's decent. Grimaldo is, is usable. Berardi's eh. Yazabal's eh. You know. You know, good fodder, I guess. All right. Here we go. John has got a second 86 plus base hero player pick. Yeah, base hero player pick. Because triple threats don't exist. Voller's not bad though. You take Voller. In terms of base, as, as good as base heroes get, we'll take we'll take Voller. All right, Lala's got his ultra wildcard pack next. Come on. Icon, baby. Let's go. We got ourselves Malinkovic Savage and is it a winter wildcard icon? Or is it a normal one? It's a winter wildcard icon. John Bond. Is that good? I feel like. You know, all right. Okay, do you know what goes through my head? I'm gonna explain it real quick. Uh, dynamic images for me make me think a card is more expensive. This card is probably not worth loads, but because he's got a decent looking dynamic image, like it just makes me think he's expensive. And he's a center forward, so maybe he's worth a little bit. Maybe like 100k? 150? I don't know. Uh, Harry Kane in there as well. Nice what he's worth. Wow, he's 60k. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Who are the winter wild cards? Rabio, Royce, Ayazabal. Eh, I mean, Rabio's all right. Decent looking card, but he's worth nothing. I reckon you made a solid like. 100k in that pack. <laughs> uh, you take it, I guess. It's an icon. All right, we've got, I think, a pick and then an 83 times 10. Here we go. Will we, will we get our second triple threat? No, we won't. We guys, that was Keesler, Govu, or Keen. Hmm. Probably a Keesler here, right? All right. You pick Keesler. Let's see who is going to be in the 83 times 10. Will we get a winter wild card? Here we go. We don't get a special card on the front. It's going to be a French MS from PSG. Cheeky little Katoto. Not bad. No, it's Hernandez. Okay, fair enough. That's the, that's the difficult thing about uh, not knowing the language. Okay. Yikes. I totally forgot the 100 player pack came out. I didn't actually open it yesterday. Um, I was out, unfortunately, which is why you didn't get a 100 player pack video yesterday. I do apologize. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, though. The 100 player packs have never really been great, in my opinion, anyway. Um, you're lucky. You get an informal to walk out, and you're happy. You know, so that's actually a decent one. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is this is why I'm not. I wasn't like too good about missing out on it. To be fair. All right, next 86 plus base or triple threat hero. Well, that's a fun way of opening it. Lizzo or Lizzo? Lizzo or Berbatov? I'd probably pick Lizzo. The Berber obviously is my United passing present. Love the guy, but I'd probably pick Lizzo in that scenario because he's higher rated. Um, I just can't believe we've had one triple threat hero in this entire video so far like that's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous all right we go again we've got our next base or triple threat hero will we get our second triple threat out of about 30 of these no never i mean marquise is not bad actually marquise is all right but papan's a lot higher rated for fodder I'd pick Marquis here, though. I think he's actually somewhat usable. It's store pack central. You know what that means? It's time to open a 500 and a 550k pack. Which one to open first? I'm going to go for the historical encore pack, given that it's New Year's Eve. All right. The 2023 historical encore pack. Here we go. We do have ourselves, I think, a Dynasty icon. It could still be good. I don't know why I'm getting so upset. It could be good, but it's probably Larson. We know it's probably Larson, right? Yeah, it's Larson again. Every time it's Larson. Why do I spend three and a half thousand FC points to pack Larson every time, man? It's so annoying. Get out of my packs, Larson. Oh, taps over. Is he tradable? No. I don't think he's worth anything anyway, is he? No, he's worth about 15k. But, I mean, you know what? The dupes aren't even that painful to discard either. So I'll take that. But it's so annoying. I just knew it'd be Larson every time. and I, I mean, I am stupid enough to open it. It's my own fault. I knew it was Larson. I still opened it. All right. This one guarantees three winter wild cards rated 86 or higher. Given the fact that it doesn't specify which team, I hope it's all three teams. But I actually don't know. We'll, 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 we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's see. 
Oh, is that an icon? No, it's an inform. Okay. Ruben Diaz and an inform. Be a good inform. Go on. Why not? Be someone like 90 plus rated. Why not? Be rude not to. Let's let's get someone good. Who's it going to be? Theo Hernandez. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad in my book. Theo Hernandez is pretty decent in my opinion. Um, I don't know how much he's worth, but I'll take that. If I do want to run like a Serie A or French backline, we've got a decent card there. What's he worth? Hey, he's worth like 200k. He's worth like 150k. We'll take it regardless. I think I just spat everywhere, so apologies. Um, I really hope people don't zoom in on the video and like slow that down. That would be, yeah. Uh, but no, we'll take Theo. And we have ourselves Lamella, Raspadori, and the duplicate. So not great. Lamella, four star, four star. Raspadori is also a four star, five star. I don't think either are worth anything, are they? 13k, 20k minimum. And now, oh my word. I mean, that would have been all right. Balde is probably worth a little bit. It is all three teams, I'm guessing. What's that? Six winter wild cards in one pack. That's not terrible. I mean, you take that. That's not terrible. All right. John sent in his historical on-call pack for us to watch as well. Let's see what he gets. So he's got an icon. Germany, CDM, Josh Kimmich. No, Oberdorf. Oberdorf and an icon. Who is his icon going to be, though? No way, man. Really? Centurions Cruyff. It's Centurions. Uh, no, Thunderstruck, sorry. Thunderstruck as well. It's not even just normal Cruyff. Thunderstruck as well, man. Really? In the historical pack, I get Larson and you get Cruyff. Nice. All right. Well, at least for everyone that thinks that I'm on the red list, I'll stream a look. All right. There you go. Brilliant. GG. Five million coins, man. Yeah, in review pick for your boy. Holizia. Eh? Good icon or... I don't even know. I've already got play the month Mbappe. Play the month Son? Is he in this? I'll take that. The worst part about this is I want to take Eli Queen Mangala. The worst part is I want to take Eliquid. I didn't even realize Eliquid Mangala was still playing. But I want to take Mangala. <laughs> is that... Take rating? But I don't need fodder. I mean, we got two icons. That's a W. Don't get me wrong. But I kind of want to take Mangala. Just because I feel like he'd be more useful for, for future squad building. I'm going to take Mangala, man. I'm taking... I know that might seem stupid. But I have infinite coins, infinite fodder, everything like that, right? So I'm taking Mangala because if I ever need like a French CB or I want to try a new French CB or I need like a Portuguese league centre back, I've got an option there. So I'm going to take him because I'll never be able to get him again. I can get Shearer whenever I want. He's about 50k. Year in review on my second account and then we're going to open the store packs on this account as well. Here we go. So year in review first. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to take the highest rated. I don't think that purse card is actually bad. I think she's actually quite a decent card. I'm going to take Lataro because he's highest rated. This account I don't play actually on. I just use it as like a second account for the content. Um, but yeah. All right. Anyway, let's open up the store packs in this account. So, ooh, what do we open? 70. Nah, I'm going to open this and the other. Okay. Historical pack first. Which icon do we have for this? What icon's that? Or is that a triple threat hero? I don't really know. That might be a triple threat hero. That might be the first one I've actually ever seen. Literally the first one I've ever seen, I think. Who is that? Oh, God. Fernando Morientes. That is the first one I've seen, though. Legitimately, out of the 20 or 30 of these packs we've opened over the time since they first came out, that is the first... Um, this card does not look that bad. This card genuinely looks all right. He needs a bit of uh, agility and balance. And he's worth nothing. But, like, that card doesn't look that bad at all, to be fair. Any winter wild cards? No. All right. Store that in the club. That, I mean, you know, I'm not, like, I'm a bit upset. I wanted an icon. But, you know, that's not horrendous. I'm going to open up the uh, the elite wild card guarantee pack instead of the other one. Just because I think this one's better value. What do we have? So, we have Victor Osserman. And I am going to ha hazard a guess at Harry Kane. Oh, we got ourselves Morgan. All right, Osman and Morgan as our walkouts. Let's see what else we got. Kimmich, Martinez. Okay, all right, fair enough. Who are our winter wild cards? Rabio. Ooh, he's thirty k. The card looks sick. 
I mean, he's three star, three star, to be fair. I guess people aren't using Syria cards as well. Enkunku, though. Oh my god. Oh, why does it have to be on this account? <laughs> we get ourselves Enkunku. Oh my god, man. No way. I'm almost upset because this is such a sick card. I just don't play on this account at all. Oh, my God. Wow. Fair enough. I mean, we'll take it. That was worth it. Wow.